So you downloaded Steam CMD, which is a server to host your own games, for example to run your own Counter-Strike server, and it usually comes as a zip archive. You are educated enough to know that you should not start anything from inside the archive, and I think Windows 11 even warns you about that, so you unpack that in the usual way how you organize all your files. So most probably you are unpacked it right in the downloads folder where you have downloaded the archive, or to your desktop, or to your documents folder. However, when you try to launch the tool by running the start batch file, if you don't see the .bat extension, you should enable it in File Explorer view settings. Anyway, the batch file throws an error, telling you that it cannot run on this version of Windows and that you should run Windows 7 or later. However, in this particular case, just by looking at the interface, it is clear that this computer is running Windows 10, which came out later than Windows 7. However, if you look closely, the real problem is this program cannot run from a folder with non-ASCII characters. And then it also says that unable to access Steam files due to an incompatible path. And then goes the prompt to click any button, which is in Russian in this case, and actually the path that contains non-ASCII characters is the user folder of this particular user. In this case, the username is also in Cyrillic. And what the program wants is only English characters in the path name. I received a request to translate this video into English from someone who seemingly speaks Turkish. Modern Turkish alphabet was introduced by Atatürk, who successfully managed to pull the country out of Middle Ages barbarism in many ways, including ditching the old inscriptions and transferring the language into Latin-based alphabet. However, even though it is Latin-based, there are lots of non-Latin characters in there, as you can see in the reply from this Turkish person. And this applies to any other language which either doesn't use Latin alphabet or does use Latin alphabet, however has some different symbols from the standard English one, for example German or Spanish. You have to understand that computers were developed in an English-speaking country for English-speaking people and it continues to be so into the future, since even non-English speakers, coders for example, develop their software using English as the primary language. So computers always had problems with non-English characters in the past and they will continue to have them and the only way to solve this problem is to develop a completely new computer, a new operating system, a new programming language and everything else from ground up in a different language, which is not gonna happen. That's why you may speak any language you want, however, for file systems, that is for naming files, stick to English characters only. So the reason why you're having this error is that somewhere in the path where this Steam CMD is, there are some non-English characters, for example, some special letters that your particular language uses. In this case, it's the user folder where your documents and downloads and pictures and everything else is located, and the name of that folder comes from your username. So if your username contains some non-Latin characters, the problem will exist. Unfortunately, even if you rename your user, your user folder directory name remain the same. You cannot change it, at least in an easy way. You can move your documents and pictures and other folders outside your user profile. You can create a new user with an English username this time. All of this will solve this problem. However, the easiest and most straightforward way to resolve this issue is just to create a dedicated folder from where you will run this Steam CMD. In this particular case, all what was needed to do is to create Steam CMD folder in the root of drive C. So you go to the root of drive C or drive D or whatever, create a folder with a name that contains only English characters, Steam CMD in this example, so the path is C Steam CMD. 
put your Steam CMD files there and launch the program from there and this time the server should launch with no issues. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.